I'm Dr. Annette, and I love to help people feel amazing and do the things they love to do with the people they love to do it with. And one of my favorite things in the world is to go traveling. And I'm curious to know where you're watching from and what the weather is like in your neighborhood. So if you can do that as you're popping on, I would love to see where you are. And I'm always curious to see, is it cold where you, or is it hot where you are? You know, like what's the climate like where you live? Um, it's just inquiring minds, right? I just need to know, it's a need to know thing. So um, do you experience buyer's remorse? Do you ever experience eater's remorse? Do you maybe have traveler's remorse or health remorse do you, you know, get up and buy a gym membership and then never actually show up at the gym? Do you have, um, and a lot of times buyer's remorse, eater's remorse, and health remorse can all be wrapped into one thing, one particular purchase or one particular decision that keeps you from achieving your goals. So thanks for participating. Thanks for letting me know where you're watching from. I'm also curious to find out, are you somebody that really, really loves instant gratification? Or are you more of a frugal person that really thinks about things before you spend money? Or are you somewhere in between? I consider myself to be somewhere in between and my instant gratification typically depends on my mood and the level of self-talk I have going on in my little brain. Now, last week we talked about some self-talk um, and what I'm kind of interested in finding out as we go through this is, first of all, have you ever experienced buyer's remorse, eater's remorse, or health, re health remorse? I mean, have you ever eaten an entire pizza and then sat there and thought, why did I just do that? That was dumb. Or maybe you ate a piece of chocolate cake and you were like, okay, I'm okay with eating one piece of chocolate cake. And then you ate it. And then, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes later, you were like, mm, I think I'm going to eat another piece. I am absolutely guilty of doing that. Sometimes it seems that once I get something yummy in my system, I just can't quite stop doing it. It makes me nuts when I do that. And I talk bad to myself after I do it. Do you? You like have this... Um, bad self-talk where you're like, oh my God, I can't believe you're so stupid. Why did you do that? Do you even realize what you're going to have to do to work off that second piece of cake? I mean, it was bad enough that you ate the first one, right? That was like 500 calories. Now you ate two pieces of cake? Like, how do you even like deal with yourself after that, right? So tell, tell me, are you frugal? Are you instantly gratified or are you somewhere in between? Because I'm curious to know if you're like, sometimes I can be super, super, super frugal. And it really depends on how badly I think I want something. I mean, how badly do I really want something? And what feeling am I looking for when I actually go after that thing? So... If I can go, um, I know, Janet, it's terrible, isn't it? Then you feel guilty, right? You have this big guilt complex. And um, then you feel bad. And then you talk bad to yourself. And then guess what? You feel bad. So then you want to do something to make yourself feel better. So then you do something else that's not healthy or not financially responsible or <clears throat> any of those things. And um, I, um, I have to... Um, I'm a, I'm a buyer. I like to buy things and I have buyer's remorse occasionally. I'm a lot better than I used to be, but I would literally buy something like, I don't know, say maybe the newest iPhone. The iPhone that I have right now works just fine, but because everybody else that I know is looking for that next new iPhone, I find myself feeling like, well, maybe I need one of those too. I get fear of missing out FOMO, right? The FOMO is real with this girl. But um, sometimes you do it to keep up with the Joneses, right? Like your neighbors just got a brand new car and their yard is perfect and the outside of their house looks so clean. You're just like, oh my God, I wish I could be like them. So you start trying to figure out how you can make your house look as good as them. Oh, Christmas decorations. How many times have you seen like a Christmas decoration contest in your neighborhood? 
people are out spending thousands of dollars on lights and decorations and they're trying to compete with the neighbors i mean seriously it's fomo fear of missing out they want to be as flashy as the neighbor right so this is what i'm talking about you do things without really thinking them through i mean seriously what do you think their electric bill is do you think that was a frugal decision that they made or what about you know that time that you you were gonna buy a um i don't know something and instead of getting the base package which was plenty maybe like cable tv the base package would totally cover all of your needs right but you can only get this one channel if you purchase the two tier higher package. So you purchase the $300 package instead of the $100 package. First of all, cable TV is retarded expensive, just saying. But if you purchase the $300 package instead of the $100 package because you can't stand the thought of missing out on that one channel, then you have buyer's remorse, but you signed a contract and you're stuck, right? So those things really happen. They happen to me. I'm sure they happen to other people as well. Um, <clears throat> but it's definitely something to think about. Now, first of all, if you guys haven't followed me, make sure you click follow and see first. <clears throat> and then if you look up there, you can see my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. You just have to search for Ask Dr. Annette to follow me on any of those platforms. And I don't always do the same thing on each one, although this live is on Instagram and Facebook right now. Um, but I'm trying to learn how to do all of these things to, um, to reach as many people as I possibly can. So I'm already 10 minutes in and I haven't even gotten to the topic yet. Poop Talk today is about instant gratification and how it can ruin your life. If you're always chasing after that next thing, the three ways that you cheat on yourself, the three ways that you cheat on the goals that you've made for yourself, financially, health, and weight are three of the most ones. And health and weight, you could argue, go together, but not necessarily. You can cheat on your health goals and not be overweight. You can cheat on your weight loss goals and still not necessarily be unhealthy at the moment. But what you really need to understand is that instant gratification, if not kept in check, can really mess you up financially, health-wise, weight-wise, and there are many other ways. These are just the three ones that I thought we should talk about this week. So this week's poop talk is going to be all about how instant gratification is interfering with your future self and how, like, what could you gain if you got control of your instant gratification? Would you save money? I think you would. And I don't care which one of those levels of self gratification you're in. If you are, um, say you're buying the premier coffee, the $10 coffee every morning when you could probably make coffee at home and it would be just as good. It might take you an extra 10 minutes, but it would save you a lot of money. Is it the actual cup that you're carrying around with the brand name on it that makes you feel good about yourself? Or is it the actual flavor, the calories that you're taking in? Like what is it about that special premier coffee that you're drinking that is allowing yourself to talk yourself into spending that kind of money. A lot of times it's the sugar. So the sugar in that coffee is making you make that poor choice, but you're also hurting yourself financially. You're hurting your health. You're hurting your future weight. Um, retirement, financial. Are you planning for retirement? Are you spending all of your retirement money on premier coffee? Something to think about. Um, are you wasting time, not necessarily doing things that you should for your job, your career? Are you self-employed and you're binging on Netflix instead of doing the things that move your business forward? What would you gain if you started doing things that were better for you and had control over your instant gratification? Would you be proud? Would you be more confident and be proud of your appearance? Would you have more self-control? Would you have better willpower? Would you have better self-talk? Those are all things that you can do if you get, a, get control of that instant gratification lifestyle that you have. And this week, we're gonna talk about those things. We're gonna talk about cheating on yourself. We're gonna talk about cheating on your goals. We're gonna talk about how buyer's remorse, eater's remorse, 
Health remorse is affecting your life. If you're on a ketogenic diet, which is one of my favorite topics to talk about, if you're on a ketogenic lifestyle and your instant gratification is keeping you from getting into ketosis, that's something we can definitely talk about. If you're trying to save money for something and your instant gratification needs are keeping that from happening, that's something we can talk about. If your goal is to be the healthiest you've ever been, but your instant gratification for watching Netflix or just maybe hanging out and not doing anything or playing on your phone or those things are keeping you from exercising or eating healthy or preparing your meals. Those are all things we're going to talk about. So come back tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We're going to talk more about how you're cheating yourself by having instant gratification. And one of the things people use for instant gratification is absolutely Facebook, absolutely social media, absolutely all of those things. So how can you, how can you get control of your instant gratification? I need to um, move that. It's in the way of my little like me on Facebook. <laughs> But just remember, you can find me at Ask Dr. Annette on Facebook. I can't seem to move the little pole. It's kind of stuck where it is. Thank you for the likes and loves. I see you guys there. Thank you so much. Um, but come back later this week. We're going to talk about this some more. And um, hopefully, I can hit on some things that will strike home for you and get you in the right frame of mind so that maybe you can improve your situation and get control of those instant gratification, things that you do, and maybe get you on the track to achieving some of the goals that you've had. And um, we'll talk about some goal setting and what you can do to help keep yourself accountable as you go. And um, yeah, that's it. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you follow and see first. Make sure you share this with someone that you think would benefit from this conversation. Make sure to invite them to poop talk the rest of this week because it's going to be good. And um, let me know how I can help you. Let me know how I can serve you. Um, come back again and watch. Thank you so much. I love you guys. And just in case no one has told you yet, you're amazing, you're unique, and the world needs you to show up exactly as who you are. So let's get you to a place where you're comfortable being exactly who you are because we need you just like you are. This world really needs you. Have a great day. Talk to you soon.